today we're on the road again, leaving Tampa and the Tampa RV show. We made our first stop, obviously to get fuel, and kind of take it just an opportunity to get you guys kind of up to date on what's going on. So we've left Central Florida. We have been in Florida, in that central area, for probably the last month and a half, really. We've ending with the um, in Tampa with the RV Super Show that you would have seen some videos by now, and now we're starting our trek west. And this morning we got up early, got on to I-75, and we've taken I-75 all the way up to 10. And we've just gotten on 10 about 30 miles ago, and we're heading towards Destin. And that's gonna be our stop. We're gonna actually stay there for actually a week and a half in that area, and there's a couple different campgrounds that we'll show you in this video. And then from there, heading out west, gonna hit Texas and all those states, New Mexico, and then Arizona, they're cheering. <laughs> um, we're getting to Arizona about March. So, just to give you an update, quick stop. Hi everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And welcome back to Suffer Travels. This week we've been staying at Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park. Yeah, this little park is in Niceville, which sounds like the name of a TV town. Yes. Um, and not too far from Destin, Florida. Yeah, it's right across. There's another bay right over here, and it's just across that bay. So we've been here for a week, and it's a nice little campground. It is very nice. It's located, or actually right on the Rocky Bayou. Water, waterway, water, or waterway. You know, bayou, or right. it's more of like an inlet. Yeah. It's been a little cool this week, so we still haven't been able to get on the kayaks. Yeah, it was too cool for the kayak, but they have a nice place to launch the kayak here. They do. Yeah, it's a nice park. How much was it a night? Um, 32 a night. Yes, and that is for water and electric. And there are a lot of nice trails that you can go and explore, and we've done a few of them with the dogs, and they really, they really enjoyed themselves. Yeah, well, we'll show you some video of that. We're going for a walk down one of the uh, paths here in the park. We drove by it, and it's kind of a nice afternoon, and we thought, well, this would be a nice place to check out for a walk. Right? Yeah. So, and definitely the dogs are always up for a walk. Right. So, yeah. we'll take you along with us. Fork in the road. With my guys. It's at least three trails. Is there any information on the trails? I guess we're going that way. This is definitely more of a walk in the woods than I was expecting. I know. Well, they have benches if you get tired. Oh, okay. Not tired yet. We'll keep going. Another 
bench coming up. How you doing? Another fork in a row. Which way would you like to go? Oh. That way or that way? I don't know. Well, we're not lost, so. Well, that looks like it goes back in the back into the forest. I don't know. Let's go this way. Okay. Zephyr, get a little too far ahead. Well, we finished the loop. It just goes around and comes back out over here. This is the Sand Pine Nature Trail, and I'm probably just shooting my belly button. <laughs> we finished the trail. It was a Sand Pine Nature Tour. It just loops up towards the road and comes back around and comes out right over here next to where we went in, so that's not too bad. No, not bad at all. A, nice, a nice walk. Yeah. We enjoyed it. Nice day. The dogs enjoyed it. Zephyr got some time just walking by herself. Yeah. And she not really, totally off leash, but... No in case we have to grab her an emergency. Yeah, like, squirrel emergency. Or bears. Oh, they, that's true, bears. Yeah, they said bears are in the area, so. Yep. Yeah, that was a good walk. I would guess that made that it's maybe just under two miles. Yeah, probably yeah. around there. Yeah. And so a nice walk. Yep, good. Let's head back to the camper and get some lunch. So we're leaving here today and we're going over to Top Sail and we're gonna take you to Top Sail in this video. We're gonna do both parks in one video. So. We're going to get packed up and we're going to head out now. Okay. Well, we've moved our campsite from Rocky Bayou to Topsail, uh, Topsail Preserve uh, State Park. And this is in, what, what's the name of the? San, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa, yes. Florida. Santa, not, not far from Destin. About 10 miles from Destin, right along um, the Emerald Coast Highway, which is considered 98. And this is really a nice campground. It used to actually be a private campground before it was bought by the state and turned into a state campground. So you've got a lot of things here that you would probably have with a private campground, like full hookups and uh, concrete pads on each site. They also offer bungalows and um, cabins, Cabins, which yep. really look like little houses. You're right. <clears throat> they have a store here. In part of the store, there is a coffee bar where you can get coffee and draft beer. So, and they, on Monday nights they have music. Yes, and they also have a swimming pool and um, shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. Yeah. They, you know the regular amenities, laundry. Um, yeah. Well, one of the big draws to this campground is the closeness to the golf, and they have I don't know three miles or so of um, beach here and they offer a daily tram that takes you back and forth to the beach, but we hiked down to the beach. It really wasn't that far. So like Randy said, we're walking down, it's about a half a mile. So if you're just walking down with no, you know, no kids or other things, then that would be fine. But if you have children and you have, you know, stuff you usually take to the beach, if you're going for the day, chairs, coolers, um, towels, then the tram is a good idea. One of the things of interest here is all these pine trees. I guess from what I've read back in the 1800s, this area was known for producing turpentine. And turpentine was very necessary to maintain the ships, the wooden ships of the day. They needed turpentine for, I don't know what, for some type of maintenance, probably to make sure they don't leak and sink. Um, they say that you can walk through the woods here and you might find some trees that have some cut marks in them. And that's from the turpentine production going back over a hundred years ago. There are a number of trails here at uh, Top Sail that you can uh, walk to. And there's also a couple lakes. It's actually one of the things that Top Sail is noted for is their uh, coastal lakes and having them as part of their ecosystem.
I'm just reading information on the gopher tortoises, which apparently you'll also find in this park. We did ha <coughs> have a couple right next to our campground in Lake, Lu Lake Louisa, wasn't it? No, it was um, Little Manatee River okay. State Park. So check, check that video out if you want to see more about them. Yeah, I mean, it's um, hole was, I mean, right at the end of Monty's rope and he took quite the interest in it yes so uh the go the um tortoise you know was right there and when it saw monty it's you know hurried into its hole and then it tried to come back out and monty saw it and of course he ran over and barking at it and then the tortoise went right back into his hole right and and go yeah gophers um Gopher tortoises. Gopher tortoises are protected species here in Florida, and there's a hefty fine if you uh, disturb them or anything. So, good thing Monty didn't do anything more than just bark at them. Otherwise, I don't think he could afford the fine. No, that's true. That's true. We might have had to left him at the park, you know. Just yeah, he'd have to work it off. Yeah. Yeah. The work program. <laughs> day here at the beach but it's still got people out there in their beach chairs well I guess if you travel and come to the beach even despite the weather you're gonna go to the beach that's true you gotta bring your blankets and gloves jacket <laughs> you know okay a ski cap all that stuff huh all that stuff We haven't had a lot of opportunity or time to get to the beach while we've been in Florida. No, we really haven't. Well, we're not really beach people, and most of the beaches don't allow dogs, and right. this included. Right. So it's not really a high priority for us if we can't take our dogs there. That's true. Plus, we've been busy doing other things and going different places. Yeah, and we met up with another uh, YouTuber. Yes, another YouTuber. We got to meet up with... Lisa and Rick Wright. Their channel is The Wright Life, so we hope you will check it out. Yeah, yeah, they're a new channel with videos very similar in content to what we put out, so right, right. you definitely want to check those guys out. Mm -hmm. What else can we say about this campground? Um, it's pretty large. They have a lot of um, campsites. Yeah, yeah, one, one downside, at least for the time we were here, they are building a new um, bathhouse and during the day there's quite a bit of noise from construction it sounds like um, leaf blowers running all the time but they're actually saws cutting the concrete block right so that'll be something that will be finished um, I would say within the next few months yeah so it's a nice addition to the park and, definitely uh, yeah. yeah so yeah it was a nice day tomorrow we leave and we start our travels west so we're looking forward to that yeah, it's going to be a slow trip out west. We are 
taking at least we're taking a, a month, the month of February, to get to uh, Arizona. So we will have plenty of ventures through Texas and New Mexico and a few other places along the way. Right. All right. Let's end this video here. Yeah. Um, if you like this video, what should they should what should they do? Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We post videos on a weekly basis and love to have you follow along in our journey. So until next time, we will see you down, see you down the, the road. road.